So AMC is in competition with uh, MoviePass now. There's, well, they're, they're, I don't think competition. Competition, is, but I mean, they, they they still accept MoviePass. At least yeah. I know some locations do. Um, but yeah, this news came out, and it's more expensive. Um, but uh, I actually think it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, you and I are both Stubbs members. Yeah. Already, and. You get all. It's basically called. It's called Stubbs A List. You get all the perks that you get with Stubbs already. Stubbs. So like, you get medium drink. You earn points. You're Grace. still gonna earn points even with this. From what I understand, you go there and like you see. The oh, movies. you still you're earn st- points. You're still okay. earning stuff. You're not not earning stuff. So it's 19.95 a month, and uh, you could see up to three movies per week. Um, so so that's the that's the limit. You could see them all in one day if you want to, uh, and then apparently it resets every Friday. Oh, for the follow <clears throat> for the following week. Yeah, basically, like, yeah, I think it goes Friday to Friday. So, so it resets every Friday, but you could see three movies on a Tuesday. Twelve movies a month, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, I had to do the math in my head. Yeah, so twelve <laughs> movies a month, which is plenty. I mean, at least for me. Yeah, I think uh, with Movie Pass, I've probably only seen in a month maybe plus than twelve. Yeah, probably. Okay. Because I usually go just try to like, all right, I gotta get at least two movies in my month to make it worth my while, you know. Yeah. Um, you could see you could see movies more than once, so you're not limited to just one movie, and you could see the move you could see any movie at its theaters in any available showtime in any format, including IMAX and 3D, and the price is the same. Oh, so it isn't restricted to that. Okay. Not restricted. The only thing, from what I understand, is restricted, which is different, is the uh, the Fathom Events stuff. That's not included, oh, okay. but whatever. Um, let's see. Yeah, but they don't really have IMAX. They're Limax. Who? AMC. You don't think any of the theaters have real IMAX? Not AMC. None of them? Well, maybe in other states, but not here. Yeah, well, anyways. I just don't think that's a fair statement to say. If, they company, if the company says they have IMAX, I don't think it's Limax. I mean, maybe some places do. There's like an IMAX format, basically. Right, and, and I'm sure it some... Can be all, like, like it's at its limit to, for it to be called IMAX. Yeah. I, I'm sure some of their newer... Anyways, it's a whole... Other, that's, that's another... That's, that's a whole other fucking thing. <laughs> Let me find a... So tickets can be purchased online for up to three movies at a time, so you, you don't have to be within... 100 yards of the theater <laughs> you can reserve seats you can do all that stuff um and then yeah you get all the same price you get the popcorn upgrades you get the free refills and you get the rewards program so i think it's a pretty i think it's pretty awesome actually and i think it's a pretty heavy competitor to movie pass that could be that could be a big thing that could drive movie pass out of business because it's a start. Yeah. The like having in, like let's say even more com- more competition. Mm-hmm. The more competition creates more. Yeah. Interesting perks for the consumer is the one that benefits from it. So what's your opinion on this? Because I know I sent it to you. I don't know if you read much, but you know how much to say. So that made me think that you don't think this is very cool. But, um. Uh yeah. I think it's I think it's it's good. I think the price is high for but me. Is it high for for me personally right now? I don't think for everyone else maybe it's fine. But um, you realize that, like... You are getting the you benefit get that it pays like, for itself after, like, two movies, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Especially if you go see the IMAX movies and, or three movies. And, I mean, it's hot. Like, it's $10 more, but you're still seeing 12 movies a month. Like, yeah. if I if I don't have it... Like, if you, if you see it to its full benefit and you see three movies a week, which, like you said, you're not even doing that necessarily with, with MoviePass. Like, plus you get... I think what would, for me it would give me more incentive to at least see three movies a month mm-hmm. to make it worth it. Um, see, but when I be with the uh, movie pass right now, like I feel like, well, I can go see, you know, if you know per se, like okay, at least I know I can see two movies and know it's worth my while. You know, with this, I'm like same with this. Yeah, two. Um, I think because. You know, ten bucks is ten bucks. Twenty bucks, though, I think that gives me more push to go see three, more than three movies. Yeah, I hear you, but I mean, you realize like which I do go to the movies a lot, right? So if you see two movies in a month, your nineteen ninety five is already paying. It's paying for it. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. what you pay. Like if I go see a movie, especially with what theater prices are now, um, yeah, like they're like most of the time seven fifty is a good price, but a lot of times they're like nine dollars or ten dollars or more. 
So if I go see a movie without any sort of pass, I'm spending 20 bucks already. <laughs> you know what I mean? 20 or $22. So, I mean, I get that it's more money, but I think the perks are there. Like, you get all the rewards. You can reserve a seat. You know, you could buy stuff in advance. And then all the points you get. You get all the, the perks. You get all the, the perks. Concessions. You could see yeah. IMAX. You could see 3D. Like, you're not limited to a certain format. You don't have to pay more. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't, like, it's hard... For me, it's on paper, side by side, it's hard to argue how movie pass is better. I mean, I get that it's cheaper, but yeah. I, I I think that this is definitely um, it's definitely a, definitely yeah. a, definitely a step up. Yeah, and, in uh, my opinion, yeah, like I think I think this to me the only thing that that hurts this is your limited AMC. Yeah. So if you aren't someone that has an AMC by you, or or have just only doesn't one wanna, that's really shitty, by right, you. right, right, right. <laughs> it's, it's got oh, I should talk in the mic. I should uh, yeah, cause like yeah. the AMC by me isn't all that pretty anymore. I mm-hmm. mean it was, but you know it shit goes down. Yeah, but you're all over, so I am all over the place. Especially I mean, in <laughs> I'm not trying to start. I'm not trying to start a war or whatever with Movie Pass and this. I just I thought this is very interesting, and you keep hearing about how Movie Pass is losing yeah. money, and this yeah. is just this is money in the AMC's pocket, so this isn't going to go anywhere. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and it just creates uh, more competition, and the consumers are going to be the ones benefited from all this. Yeah, so I think it's very. So. I think it's very interesting. If you ask me, I think it's a better service than Movie Pass, just because I. I don't like some of the inconvenient features of Movie Pass. The whole be within a hundred yards or you know reserve seating is such a thing that if I can't actually only some theaters do reserve seating, hmm? or only some uh, theaters let you reserve seat on the Movie Pass app. But my point is, you still have to you be within a hundred yards. Theater, yeah. So it and doesn't, don't yeah. you you can't buy it in advance either, right? Um, don't, it doesn't have to be no. same day. That's so yeah. to me, those are things that kind of that kind of sucks. So and this answers all that stuff. So anyway, it's not a big deal. Again, I'm not trying to start start a war. Cheese is going off in the chat. I'm sorry, I haven't seen most of what you said, but um, yeah. So yeah, just thought I'd bring it up, especially you being a movie. So it's intriguing to you, correct? It's intriguing because you're already yeah, a Stubbs member. I'm already a Stubbs member. So essentially, you, you like you wouldn't. From what I okay, so this could be a hundred percent wrong, so, but, I, but I'm gonna put it out there. Okay. My understanding is, well, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. You could, <laughs> I, it doesn't. I was like, well, you're already a Stubbs member, so you probably just upgrade, but you're still... You just, okay, for me, though... you pay 15 It's, it's 20, 20 or nineteen ninety nine a month or whatever it is. Um, I hate monthly subscriptions. That's what MoviePass is. I know. No, I know. I get that, too. But when the price goes up, my interest goes down with monthly. With monthly. So, like, let's say, like... That's why I buy Amazon Prime all at once because like I don't want it to keep pulling out from my mm. bank account. I don't like that. So I like to keep control of it. I mean, it's I mean yeah. Living, though. You subscribe to Netflix. You do all this stuff. Well, well, yeah, I, I do. Uh, but I know what I'm like. I do keep track of that, but it just adds more to keep track of. Mm. If I know, like, let's say Netflix says, oh, instead of paying nine ninety a month, you get a discount of ninety dollars a year. I'll, I'll do that. I'd rather just drop my ninety dollars a year and be done with it. Same thing with MoviePass. If I could pay you yearly, I would just do it yearly so I just stop pulling from my bank account. Yeah. Um, well, that's got nothing to do with this new AMC program. No. Well, no, but like I said, when the price goes up higher, like knowing that I'm going to get like you're 20 more- bucks out of my bank account every month, right. like I think about it like, fuck, like 20 bucks is 20 bucks. But you, but you have to, again, look at it from the same perspective that you're looking at MoviePass. Whereas if you know you see movies often, like that. That twenty dollars is mo- is money that's going to be spent anyway if you see three movies a month. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I get. You're it. you're buying your movie tickets in advance, yeah. and it offers to me a whole hell of a lot more than Movie Pass. So like it's 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 double the price, but it's not for no reason. Yeah, I don't. This is just the weird Rick thing that right. I got going on. Oh, I understand it, but but I, I just, just like right. I'd rather pay yearly. No, I get it, but I mean, you can make that same argument towards Movie Pass too. You realize? Yes, yeah. and if I could pay yearly, I would. Right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What but the it, I just think because it's a nine ninety nine price point, it, it makes it not as it doesn't feel as much. <laughs> I I I get it, but like I said, if you say Movie Pass doesn't exist and only this exists, and you know that you see three to four movies a month, you're you're spending more than nineteen ninety five a month. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just prepaid. Like, if you, you you're gonna get to see twelve movies. Like, look at it, look at it this way. At its fullest extent, you're gonna see twelve movies in a month for nineteen ninety nine, for twenty okay. bucks. Cheesy fills me. He gets me. Yeah. All right, cheesy. The, but but I I we get what you're saying. I no no no. Uh, Don't, okay, hold on. Time the fuck out. <laughs> Don't because Cheesy said that think all of a sudden you've got two on one thing. Oh, no, I'm not no, saying not I don't understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to say is you don't just see one movie a month. I know, I know, I know. So you're gonna more. you're gonna spend that money anyway. I get the whole idea of like, oh well, it's going out of my pocket every month. But whether you know it or not, if you see three movies in a month, that money's going out of your pocket anyways, yeah. and it's gonna be more than twenty bucks. It's gonna be no, more no, like it. thirty bucks. Let's let's put it this way: if they told me every, every, uh, every, every month on the twenty second, that's when it's gonna get pulled. Then I'd be, you know, I'll be fine with it. Like well, they uh, Net, Netflix, you know, like Netflix they're, says they're gonna this have month. A no, no, no. I know, but like it never happens on that date. Well, for me, for some reason, like it never happens on the, the exact date. It happens like cheesy. Hold on, sorry. Two Shut days before, or three up. days after. <laughs> you know that I have a point, and you know what I'm saying. I'm not against you guys, but like it's just it's so simple. Like what yeah. what is hard to understand? Before any of this existed, no, no, no. before any of this existed, you spent more than nine ninety nine a month on movies, and yeah. you would spend more than nineteen ninety nine a month on <laughs> fucking movies. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, like, I, just, I, yeah. I, I just, I feel like you're trying to defend, like, because MoviePass is your baby, even though before, can I just say something? Before, when MoviePass got announced, Rick and I, it's on the podcast. Yeah, it is. Didn't like MoviePass. Then he got it, and now he thinks I'm attacking, and I'm just saying, look, here's this no, other no. thing that AMC's offering, and it's fully better, like, in every way. It's offering everything that MoviePass does not, other than, other than, restrict, uh, other than unlimited movies, I guess, you know. But you can see more than one movie a day. You can see three yeah. and, and three a week. How many people see three movies a week anyways? Ryan O'Leary. More than three. <laughs> more than three a week. There's Ryan not many O'Leary. People, but there's not that many people that see more than three That's movies true. a That's week. That's true. So my point is, if you're someone that does that, if you don't have this, you're spending more than 20 bucks a month on movies. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I get, I get your point, because this stuff does add up. I forgot about PS, uh, PlayStation Plus. I, I pay yearly for that. I think we all do this. Cause just because you get a better discount. Um, <laughs> throwing the salt. <laughs> no, it, 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 I understand. I, like, but I, I get it though. I, I, I get the whole lump sum thing, but sometimes payments is nice. I think it's funny, like those old infomercials and stuff that you'd watch. Like that for some reason, I would, for payments. I would, yeah, I would get fucking sucked into as a kid, like. I don't know why. I'd be up really early for whatever reason, and then there'd be this cool new cooking thing. I read thing, it, yeah. And I'd fucking watch it. And um, uh, I'd watch it, and it wouldn't be what you just said. It'd be like, for six easy payments of thirty four ninety five. I'm like, I get why that sounds more appealing, but then you add it up and you realize you're spending, you know, fucking $500 yeah. on something or whatever the math is on that. Uh, I saw the gym thing, twenty five bucks, and you didn't go for the, for three months. Just I understand about, it, uh, but you if like, you know, that's something. You know, the gym is the gym. You know, you have to really drive yourself to fucking go to the gym and actually like partake. But generally, I think we all go see movies. You're gonna go to the movies. You know what I mean? I will say to be fair, I don't know that this AMC thing is right for me because, like, because. I don't see that many movies in a month. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I really don't. I I see a lot of movies. You and I end up seeing a lot of the same movies, I'd say. You definitely see more movies than I do in the theater. I, I'd say I'd say at the least, at the very least, I see a movie once a month. So I don't know if this makes sense for me. It could, and maybe it drives me to go. But here's the other, here's the other way it doesn't make sense for me, and here's the part where it's hard. Something like this, at least to me on paper... Although I guess money wise it would still end up being the same thing. Feels like it isn't good for couples. Cause I wouldn't just be yeah. paying this, I'd be paying this for my girlfriend too. So uh, I'm yeah. not just paying nineteen ninety nine, I'm paying it for her too. So then all of a sudden I'm but at the same time, it's still less money though. If you break it down, so forty dollars a month. Save money. I'm still saving yeah. money. I guess no matter what I'm still saving money. So don't mind me, it's fucking dumb. I just wanted to bring it to the attention, to everyone's yeah, attention. Yeah. 
I think this is going to make Movie Pass. I just I don't think Movie Pass is long for this world. I really don't. I'm going to set it out right now. I'm making a prediction. I think Movie Pass is gone before this year's over. I think right. it's dead and buried. Ooh, bold prediction. There we hey, go. Call it bold. So what is it? It's June 2018. So before this year's over, I think Movie Pass is, is out of business. And gone. All right. So mark it down. Maybe. Uh, it's like a porn subscription. <laughs> the gym is like a porn subscription. <laughs> I feel like I'd get way more out of a porn subscription, though. <laughs> I don't have to leave the house. I just signed into a website. I'm sorry for yelling. It's getting intense. I'm just trying. I'm only yelling to get my point across because I'm trying to get Rick to understand that this is this is like essentially movie pass, but with a I lot more it. perks. That's it. Simple. But I understand. Nine ninety nine sounds better than nineteen ninety nine, but still, it still pays for itself. 